Hi, in this presentation we are going to see what graphical tools are available with Aldex Riviera Pro uh, to debug your transactions. We are going to use UVM standard Hello World uh, sample design and that's a block diagram of this design with the two producers, producer 2 and producer 1, um, generating packets. One of the producers connects directly, the other one through the TLM's FIFO. And then consumer is another object in that example that uh, receives the packets and uh, generates the transactions. Um, let's take a closer look at the first connection of a direct connection from the producer one to a consumer. On the side of the producer, there is a run function um, with a for loop that uh, generates a few packets, and those packets are being randomized using the standard. Uh, a randomize function of system Verilog. Um, that's all it does, the producer does, it just randomizes the data inside of the packet and then it transfers the packet using that method, uh, the put function, uh, which is an export function. Um, it sends those packets uh, to the function called put. The implementation of function put is provided by the consumer, so on the other side here. Uh, here is the implementation and then um, that's where actually the time is being spent, uh, the simulation time, and there is some uh, standard transactions such as functions uh, accept TR, uh, begin TR, that starts the transaction and ends transaction after some time. So once again producer just generates the packets, sends them over to consumer, consumer uh, creates uh, the transactions using those packets. In the second case, um, when there is a FIFO between those two blocks, um, the actual the producer implementation doesn't change. It still randomizes those packets and sends them through the put function. The only difference is that this time put function is not connected to the consumer directly. It is connected to the TLM FIFO. And now consumer is um, operating as an independent process, uh, polling the function from time to time um, w uh, to see if the packets from producer are available in the queue. And when they are, then again it calls, uh, it gets that packet and then it calls put, again same implementation um, function to actually implement a transaction. So that way consumer and producer independently operate. Now um, UVM recorder class, which is a st standard default class of a UVM, it provides method for basic recording, um, such as a just simple output to a text file. So when you run a simulation you'll get a debug text file with the information on those transactions and the time when they happened. Um, Aldec extends the um, basic class with UVM recorder Aldec that uh, provides some additional functionality such as uh, recording of those transactions to Aldec simulation database um, and by re recording those transactions to simulation database we actually can um, display those transactions on the waveform. And here is how to uh, create or instantiate all the recorders object. You'd call a set config object, a standard uh, UVM uh, function to create a record in the factory which would create an object called recorder and then the um, actual value for, for that object would be returned by this um, another um, Aldex function called UVM recorder Aldex get. So this function um, will, return, will create an object and return the pointer uh, when it's called now let's dive into the tool and actually see the actual demo. So as mentioned, I am going to be using the um, Hello World which is located in the simple folder of that uh, um, uh, standard um, location where UVM examples are. Uh, when you install the tool, this is installed with the tool. Um, and there are a few um, do macros there. Um, I'm going to be using the one with the um, underscore TR for transactions recording, uh, run me um, tr.do. Uh, there are just some uh, basic routines, so I'm going to skip that and um, basically start and run uh, my simulation. I do have a, a couple of breakpoints here uh, where I want my simulation to stop so I can demonstrate some of the points to you. Uh, but let first the simulation initialize. Now the point number one, what we've just seen on a, a slide, um, that's where actually we create Aldex Global Recorder by calling that um, 
a set config object uh, function which in its turn calls the the get function that will actually get the object created. Let's quickly get inside that get object over here, get function, sorry, over here and see what happens when we enter that. So when we enter that, then there is a, a new um, a constructor of the class is being called and then the next step we just return the pointer to a newly created object. Now that pointer gets recorded in the table um, using that setConfig object function. So as far as we are concerned, the object is create, created and we can continue our simulation. So let's run a little bit further. Um, and this time we are actually stopped in a uh, consumer, as the name file name suggests here, inside of the consumer, inside of the put function. By the way, let me enable the call stack so that you can actually see not only the name of the function where we are uh, located, but also the whole stack of the function calls that it took to get to that function. Um, so um, we are about to we're inside of that put uh, function, and um, we are about to call that begin tr, um, which starts call some of the routines that starts the transaction. Now the implementation again is provided by UVM. So if I dive into that begin tr function, let's see what happens. Um, another function um, will be called, uh, and again the call stack is helpful here. Um, there will be actually the series of calls until we reach down to again the function that is called begin tr, but this time it's in the UVM recorder um, class. Actually, it's an UVM recorder ALDEC class that was extended. Um, so all you need to do in your um, in, in your consumer object. Um, is just call begin tr function and if you have all the uh, global recorder instantiated then you'll land um, inside of that uh, um, function begin tr over here. Um, now th there is a series of um, uh, standard PLI uh, routines um, called those are provided again by ALDEC. For instance, begin transaction will start a transaction, will know the time when transaction started. Then once that is executed, the next um, um, PLI function that will be called is add attribute. This will actually record some of the attributes of your um, transaction, such as name, uh, if you have any uh, data fields in there. So those data fields will be recorded as well. Um, so let's just go ahead and run and see it again it stops over at the same line because there is a series of calls so begin transaction is called again so if I want to continue the simulation I'd have actually to disable uh, those two breakpoints so that they don't stop my simulation and over here as well that way it lets my simulation finish now, w once the simulation is finished, there is transaction stream viewer um, that where you can see your um, streams. Um, so let me add those to the waveform, and then I'll show you um, and explain uh, th th those what stands for what. We have two streams here. Those are pretty much like signals. Uh, there is a packet stream that is um, r shows um, transactions that um, were generated by the producer um, and essentially the same transactions um, are being implemented in the consumer um, by the consumer. Um, so if I zoom in a little bit and the next thing I can do is just uh, give a little bit more space uh, so that I can expand uh, the actual transaction and see some of the values inside likewise for the second stream um, that's actually the transaction here. It starts at time 10 uh, nanosecond and it end, ends at time 40 nanosecond. Um, now, um, I do see that uh, the name of the transaction is just simply packet. However, in the case of a consumer, the name is more self-descriptive. It actually represents the originator of a transaction. And as I mentioned, there are two producers, one and two, so you can actually get to see that there is producer one and there is producer two and that's when they started this transaction. Um, address is a field inside of a uh, of a packet, that's the only field that a packet has, adder, for address. 
um, and you can see the actual value for that um, and as you can see it's been randomized so this time it's 78 hex uh, next time it's 22 or something else um, except time that's when the actual transaction has been originated um, but then it uh, there is some delay between it origination and then when actually it started um, and also there is a checkbox that I can uh, activate here relations this will actually show me if there are any relations uh, of this transaction with another transaction so it's, it's all cross linked so if I double click on this or actually just single click on this boom um, it highlights the transaction to which it relates and it jumps sets the cursor right at the beginning of that transaction um, and uh, obviously I can do the same here um, it works both ways so I click on that and then it jumps on the uh, to the consumer um, so this is pretty much like a, a your regular signal um, with some transactions happening on it by just looking at those transactions it's much, much easier to see in which sequence they have been called and what data they, they have been carrying um, so uh, that's all helpful information when, when you debug it um, by the way there are more features uh, uh, relevant to the transaction uh, debugging on the waveform feel free to explore um, and uh, thanks for your attention